capital of South Vietnam and a city well known to troops who have served or are serving with the headquarters of the Australian forces here in Vietnam. Despite years of war and numerous Viet Cong terror and rocket attacks, life goes on for the stoic Vietnamese civilians. The hub of all Australian service activities is located in Cholon, behind the imposing facade of the Free World Military Forces building. Here at his headquarters is the commander of the Australian Forces, Major General A.L. Macdonald. I welcome this opportunity of speaking to you on behalf of the Australian Force in Vietnam. I want you to know that members of the Force are doing a fine job, despite the difficulties and hazards of service here. They are an excellent heart, and the morale is superb, and I firmly believe this is due in large part to the wonderful support given to the Force by people in Australia. I particularly wish to thank the families and others close to members of the Force for your understanding and forbearance in this period of separation, your ready acceptance of the many difficulties and perhaps sorrows inevitable in the absence of your husbands or sons has done much to maintain their spirits. We are grateful too for the efforts of the many organisations and groups, too numerous to mention individually, who have devoted their time and money towards providing amenities and other assistance to the force. It is most reassuring to know that you in Australia have at heart the continued well-being of our sailors, soldiers and airmen. Finally, I wish you all a happy Christmas and I join with you in the hope that the new year will bring peace to this troubled country. One of the staff officers on headquarters Australian Army Force in Vietnam is Captain Brian Glance of Melbourne. His parents uh, live in Glen Iris. At this time of the year, probably more than any other, I'm thinking of you all down there. And wish you and all the acquaintances compliments of the season. And look forward to the reunion in what will, I'm sure, appear a very short period. Many of the members of the headquarters in Saigon are required to work all night. And right in the morning they require an early breakfast and the fellow that fixes it for them is Private Bob Smythe. His wife and very small son live in Charlton. Uh, I'd like to spend a merry Christmas to my wife June, uh, son Baron. Hope he's not getting into too much mischief. Uh, just, I hope and sincerely I'll be home for Christmas. I think I will in fact. And uh, I'd like to say Merry Christmas to all. Before I go, I'll, I'll uh, hand over to my mate here, Russell Kay. Say Merry Christmas to his folks. Thanks, Bob. Uh, I'd like to say Merry Christmas to John, if you say especially. And I'd also like to say Merry Christmas to Mum and Dad, and also the kids. And I'd like to say hello and Merry Christmas to all the gang at home. And I hope to see you soon. I'm damn sure I will. These two young men from headquarters of the Australian Force in Saigon were seeing the sights in the city. The man on the left is Private Graham Owens from Arabin, and the other chap is Corporal John Johnson from Dandenong. Hello and Christmas greetings to everyone at 29 Barbara Street, Moorabbin. I trust you are all well and enjoying this Christmas season. Please give my regards to everyone at Moorabbin and Sindel. I'm looking forward to seeing you again about July. Until then, may God bless you all. Uh, this gives me a rather unexpected chance to say hello to all my friends, uh, namely Mr and Mrs Adams of Elton, Victoria, Mr and Mrs Campbell of Elton, Victoria, and also Mr and Mrs Duffy of Dandenong, and all their family. I had to see you in June. I watched you home in December, but I'm now going on leave on termination of tour to uh, England and the USA. So uh, I really hope I'll see you then. So until then, bye-bye. Shopping for bargains in Saigon, we found Private Jim McMillan of Preston and craftsman John Turner from Morrill, Victoria. Hi, Kat. Lots of love and kisses for Christmas, love. Uh, for Mum, Maureen and Spud, best wishes. The Harpers, Clarks and Bradleys, best of luck. The same for all the Preston boys. See you later. Hi, Mum. Merry Christmas. As you can see, I'm doing all right. Uh, I'd like to say a cheerio to you too, Cherry. And Jane, I hope you're looking after my car. I'll see you in April. We weren't too sure whether Private Bernard Clancy of Sale was more interested in the paper aeroplanes or the children. As you can see, uh, they've got their own brand of F-111s over here. They've just been telling me all about them. Um, 
I'd like to say Merry Christmas to everybody and wish everybody a Happy New Year, especially you, Kathy. You know, it won't be long now and I'll be home. And I hope everybody at home has a uh, very happy Christmas. Dodging traffic is one of the hazards of Saigon. This is Corporal Ron Beatty of South Yarra. Well, Sam, uh, here it is, Christmas again, and uh, this seems a few months ago when I was home for Christmas last year. Uh, I hope that you and Michael and Cindy enjoy your Christmas this year, even though I'm not home. Uh, if the family's not there, give them all my very best and look after yourself. And Michael, look after Mum for me, and uh, until then, God bless. We came across Sabo Ian Pearlman and a couple of his mates shopping for Christmas cards in Saigon. Uh, g'day Mum, Dad, Sandra. I hope you enjoy your Christmas and um, oh, by, when this was taken I didn't know what to buy you but uh, by now you should have it and I'll see you in March. No, no. Signalman Calvin McDonough comes from Kyneton, Victoria. Uh, hello Maxine, uh, I can't be with you at Christmas but uh, send all my best to you and all my love and to you Simone and Kelly from Daddy and to all at Kyneton and to my mother and uh, you Mum and Nev in Warrigal I send all my best and wish I could be with you this Christmas. And by the way, here's my friend, uh, Murray Evans, he's from Kalgoorlie, he'd like to say a few words to his girlfriend in Clayton, Victoria. Murray? Good, thanks, Ian. G'day, Ed. How are you? Hope you're having a mighty Christmas. Also, to you, Mrs Jones, Mr Jones and the rest of the family, all the best. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and it won't be long before I'm there with you again. The majority of the 8,000 Australian servicemen in Vietnam see little or nothing of Saigon. At Nui Dat, about 40 miles southeast of the capital, is the operational base for the 1st Australian Task Force. It's home for about 5,000 officers and men. From Nui Dat are launched the operations against the enemy in Phuc Thuy and the neighbouring provinces. The commander of the task force is Brigadier Sandy Pearson. Uh, on behalf of all the soldiers of this task force, I would like to, w uh, to wish Everyone in Australia, a very Merry Christmas. Every one of us would very much love to be home with our families on this particular day. This is not possible, and the best we can do is to think of you, uh, and to think of you all getting together and thinking of us on this day. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank all the people of Australia for the support, both in the material and spiritual kind, that they're giving to the soldiers of this task force. We all appreciate very much the various groups that are doing their uh, utmost to provide us with a lot of the comforts uh, and other material things that we uh, miss from our normal home life. Again, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everyone in Australia. Number five, four. This is one of the 105 howitzer positions of the one, uh, 102 field battery at Nui Dat. There are four Victorians in this gun crew. Number one on the gun is bombardier Ian Warren, whose wife Delphine lives at Baronia. Well, I spent a special Christmas going to my wife Delphine and son David. Uh, quite pleased with the opportunity I've got to uh, speak to you this way. Also, uh, Merry Christmas to my parents down at uh, Elwood and Dell's parents up at Bronia. Uh, it won't be long, I'll be home. Thank you. Alan Floyd comes from Owen. I'd like to spend, uh, send special cheers to Grandma, Grandma Floyd at home, also Dad, and a, and a special one to Lynn. Tell her I'll be home at, be home at Christmas. Gunner Robin Parkinson is from Shepparton. I'd like to take this opportunity to um, wish uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to my parents at home at Rainbow in Victoria, uh, my sisters Diane and Mary, brother Philip, also a special uh, Christmas greeting uh, to my friend Roland Crosby and his wife at Shepparton, um, my girlfriend Marion Keem also of Shepparton and uh, a good old friend Barry Essen, hope you can have a few beers at Christmas for me and I'll see you early February. Gunner Rick Sund uh, is number four on the gun, his wife uh, Sandra is at Hampton. Hi Sandy, this is Rick at Nui Dat. Hope you can see me pretty good. I'm having a ball here. I'd like to wish you and the kids a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Be home soon. A Gippsland member of 102 Field Battery is gonna Bruce Morris of Morwell. I'd like to say hello to uh, Dad and Mum in Morwell and uh, also to our call to Diane and Ray and the boys 
in uh, Nagambi and Cliff and Beryl and Dandenong and the kids. And uh, I'd like to wish you all a very best for Christmas and a very happy New Year. The battery commander of 102 Field Battery is Major Gavin Andrews. His wife Patricia and his small boy Lachlan are waiting for him at Sandgate, Brisbane. Uh, to all uh, relatives and friends of the members of 102 Field Battery, uh, go my very sincere and best wishes this Christmas. And to my wife Patricia and son Lachlan, my very special thoughts will be with you today. The men and vehicles of C Squadron, 1st Armoured Regiment, are just returning from operations. The driver of this vehicle is Trooper Peter Hutton of Templestowe. Hi Susie, how are you? Um, I'm sorry that we couldn't be together for Christmas, darling, but I hope you had a Merry Christmas. That you have a Merry New Year, and from now on we'll always be together. And I hope you, Mum and Dad, that you and the girls also have a Merry Christmas. And I'll see you all in 45 days. Trooper Desmar is from Butilla. I'd like to say hello to my mother and my brothers and sisters. I'd like to wish them a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'd all like, also like to say hello to my relatives and friends around Butler District. I'd like to wish them a Happy Christmas and a Merry New Year. Thank you. Corporal Bill Burton is from Puckapunyal. I'd like to take this uh, very welcome opportunity to wish my wife Elizabeth and daughter Jenny, uh, and especially uh, Merry Christmas uh, and a very Happy New Year. Uh, uh, while I have the opportunity, I'd also like to wish my father uh, a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Also, uh, my young brother, Brian, uh, and a very good friend, Dot. Uh, Dad, have a bit of courage for us over Christmas. Make it ice cold. Uh, Trooper Alan Jarvis comes from Yarrambat. I'd like to say hello to my mother and father, my sister and her husband, and uh, their young daughter, also my three brothers. And I'd like to wish you all a happy Christmas and a happy New Year. Thank you. And Trooper Rod Burgess is from Ivanhoe. I would like to take this opportunity to wish my wife, uh, Carol, uh, her family and my family a happy Christmas and a happy new year. And if you were in love, I'll be home very shortly. Also, I'd like to take the opportunity to um, send greetings for a very good friend of mine, uh, Mick Bidey, to his fiancée, Helen Foley. Uh, don't get worried about Mick, Helen, he's quite OK. The gunner on this tank is Trooper Mick Bidey from South Yarra. Hello, Mum and Dad, Dean. Roger, I'd like to take this opportunity of wishing you all a merry, happy Christmas and a prosperous New Year. And I'd also like to send my regards to the Foley family in Shepparton and all my love to my fiancée, uh, Helen Mary. A squadron of the 3rd Cavalry Regiment are equipped with armoured personnel carriers. Just up here, the, the boys call them tracks. The driver of this one is Trooper Russell James of Hampton. G'day, uh, darling. Uh, really enjoyed my hour and hour. It's not long now before I'll be home again. Anyway, it's uh, only a quick message. Um, I'll see you in uh, April. G'day Mum, uh, Dad, rest of the family. I uh, hope everybody's looking after themselves and I hope uh, Phil is behaving himself at school. The crew commander is Corporal Bob Pearl from Bendigo. Uh, hi Mum and Dad, uh, Jack uh, Maxendall. I hope you're all feeling well. I'm uh, great over here. The sun is terrific. Uh, Dad, I uh, hope you don't get into that courage beer too well. Just leave some for me when I get home. Also, a special, special uh, wish and Merry Christmas to Elaine. Uh, it won't be long before I'm home with you and uh, the bells will be ringing. And the third member of this crew is Corporal George Thompson from Seymour. Hello, oh, darling. Kids, uh, I won't be long before the home. It's not bad here, a bit hot. But uh, I miss you a hell of a lot. Craftsman Derek Williams is attached to A Squadron, uh, Third Cav Regiment. He comes from Ascot Vale. Hello, Mary, uh, Mum, Donald, and Bruce. I hope you have a good Christmas and a happy New Year. I wish you all the best. Over my halfway mark now, now another five months to go, and I'll be home with you all again. I'll send you all my love and uh, see you soon. The crew commander of this vehicle is Trooper Bernie Van Kuyk of Agnes, Victoria. Hello, Mum, Dad and everybody around home. I'd like to send you all my love and all the best for Christmas and a Happy New Year. Men of the First Field Squadron Royal Australian Engineers work in support of the infantry on operations. Sapper Norm Butler of Sunshine, Victoria. Hello to everyone at home, to my mother, and parents, brother and sister, grandparents, 
uh, sounds more like a cheerio to Uncle Norman show, but anyway, it's good to get the opportunity to say hi to you all. I'd uh, like to send my love to Margaret too, and uh, look forward to coming home. That seems a long way off yet, but I'm sure the time will go fairly quickly. His mate Sabbath old Todd comes from Chadston. Hello, Joan. Uh, bigger surprise to me than you. Uh, hope Joanne's well and the baby. Um, haven't any idea yet when I'll be home. I hope it won't be too long. And uh, hope Mum and Dad, Julia, well. Everyone else at home too. Sapper Stephen Semmel is an electrician working with the First Field Squadron Workshops. He comes from Frankston, Victoria. Hi, Mum and Dad, Vilma and Brian, and uh, Stephen and Anthony. I'd like to wish you uh, all uh, Merry Christmas and all the best for New Year, and uh, all the best to all my mates at home. Thanks very much. Lieutenant Terry Ellis is a helicopter pilot with 161 Independent Recce Flight. His wife, Mrs Valerie Ellis, lives in Glen Huntry, Victoria. Hello, Val, and everyone at number one. I'd just like to say, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll be home with you pretty soon, I hope. Uh, Craftsman Arnold Oradat uh, comes from the Basin in Victoria. He's a member of 161 Recce Flight here at Nui Dat. Arnold. So that effects. Thank you. Hello, Mum and Dad. Hope you're feeling well. Um, I look forward to seeing you all again uh, early next year, possibly in April. I don't know yet for sure, but around about that time anyway. I'd also like to say uh, very best wishes to all my good friends at home, uh, in particular to Estelle and Diane. And I hope to hear from you again soon. Please write. Thank you. Test firing of weapons before operations ensures that both the weapons and the ammunition are operating efficiently. This is Private Norm Johnson of Barham Beach. Uh, hello, Mum and Dad. Who's this at home? Hope he's getting along fine, I am at the moment. Hope he's having a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Hope to see you as soon as possible. When our cameras visited 1RAR, we found five platoon getting ready to go out on patrol. Private Grant Bosley of Geelong was one of its members. Uh, g'day, Mum and Dad. Uh, not like me to get my nose in your camera, is it? Uh, I'd just like to take this opportunity and wish yourself and Dad and Brother Bill a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And also uh, Cousin Bill and aunts and uncles. And last but not least, I'd like to wish all my mates up at the Carrington uh, a very happy Christmas. I know she's going to be a wet one for you, but it's not so long to go for myself now. I'm on the downhill run and I'll get, we might have another one when we get home. See you later. The M60 machine gunner is Private Robert Hammonds from Algeria. Hello, Mum, the rest of the family. Uh, as you can see, I'm keeping pretty fit. A bit surprised to see me on uh, the telly. But I just want to send you all the Christmas greetings. I hope you have a very happy Christmas. Uh, by the way, this is our uh, section commander, Corporal Max Treasure, Sunshine as we call him. He comes from Linden now. Here, Max. Good, uh, thanks, Bob. Uh, well, hello, Mum and Dad, and uh, Margaret, Mr. and Mrs. Levy, everyone else around the district that uh, may be watching. Uh, wish you all the best. Have a Merry Christmas, and uh, it won't be long before I uh, see you all again, and next year we'll have a ball together again. Um, this will be our last uh, apart for a long while, I hope. And, uh, uh, well, uh, have a good time. We'll have one too if we can uh, certainly get around it. See you. Private Chris Johnson from Geelong is a member of the Mordic uh, platoon of 1RAR at Nui Dat. Hello, darling. Uh, Mum, Dad, all the kids at home. Uh, I hope you enjoy the presents I'm going to send kids. Um, I hope you uh, all have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And uh, it's not too long to go now, love. The commanding officer of the 1st Battalion Royal Australian Regiment in Vietnam is Lieutenant Colonel Phil Bennett and his wife, Margaret, is waiting for him at Holdsworthy. On behalf of all of those men of the 1st Battalion who could not be included on this program, may I for them wish the mothers and fathers, their relatives and friends, particularly their girlfriends, a very happy Christmas. We're all thinking about you very sincerely on this special occasion. To all those many organisations, too uh, numerous in fact to mention, could I thank you for the gift parcels, the books and the many kind wishes of support that we've all received. We appreciate it a great deal and it's done a lot for the morale of this battalion. We thank you and we have written to thank you. Those that have not been able to do so, 
to duties and their commitment to operations join with me in expressing their gratitude for your generosity and thoughtfulness. To our wives and our relatives in Holsworthy and those people who've done a wonderful job looking after our families while we've been away through the Australian Overseas Service Association, we are indeed thankful for the help throughout the year. We miss our families very much and we're looking forward to coming home. To my own wife, Margaret, and my three children, my love and best wishes for a very happy Christmas day. This is one of the weapon pits in the 4th Battalion Royal Australian Regiment lines. The man behind the gun is Pete, uh, sorry, Private Jeff Redding from St. Leonard. Hi there, Mum and Dad. This is Jane. It's been a great thrill to be <coughs> given this short opportunity to wish you all a merry, merry Christmas and a very happy and prosperous New Year. I want to thank you all, uh, not only you, Mum, Dad and Joan, but all friends and relatives for the wonderful parcels and letters that you've been sending over to me quite so often over here. It's really a great thrill to receive them, and I must say that it's one of the only things that a digger looks forward to. So until I see you all about the end of May, keep up the good work and keep a cold can in the fridge and keep those tractors warm, Father. Thank you very much. Now, my mate here, number two on the gun, is Private Graham Illsley from North Caulfield, Victoria. Graham? Hi Mum, Dad, it's uh, real good to uh, be able to talk to you, so always a real Merry Christmas and a real Happy New Year. I missed a hell of a lot and I wish the hell I was home right now, but uh, well, we'll make it next time. Uh, thanks for all those parcels you've been sending, it's uh, real good to get them and it's something I really look forward to. Thanks for the mail and everything like that. Well, I'll sign off now and look after yourself, everything goes in real fine, I'm real feeling great and what we'll see in a year, so uh, we'll see you then, okay. This group of uh, handsome Victorians are all members of the 4th Battalion Royal Australian Regiment. This is Private Bob Walker from Ormond. Well, good day, Mum and Dad, uh, Lynn and Lee and of course little Mandy now. Tremendous to get this opportunity to uh, say good day to you and to all my friends back home and relations, of course. Uh, thanks very much for all the things you're sending up. Uh, keep the good work up, it's tremendous. and. Uh, Dad, you better get that uh, yacht club clear, getting grooved up. We're ready to go when I get home. Uh, other than that, uh, all the best for Christmas and the New Year too. I'd uh, be thinking of you over that time. Thanks very much. Private Bob Salatin comes from Reservoir. Hi, Maureen. Mum and Dad, John and Dawn, everyone at home. I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I only wish I could be there with you. I'm doing fine over here and uh, it's pretty hot right at the moment and I suppose it's pretty good back there too. Gunner John Thompson hails from Fenty Gully. Hi, Mum, Dad, Malcolm, and all the mates. Hope you're having a good time over there. Wish I was there with you, to tell you the truth. Uh, nothing much to say, only have a good time at Christmas. All the best. Uh, look after yourselves. Gunner Stephen Strazis is from South Yarra. Hi, Mum and Tom. Uh, hope you're having a Merry Christmas there and a Happy New Year. I'm going to write over here and call me mates in Melbourne. Hope you keep up the good work by writing. And Gunner Barry Bash and his family are at Deniliquin. Hi Mum and Dad, Peter, Jenny, Kevin, Lauren Ambrose, Tim and Roger. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas. See you soon, I hope. The Horseshoe is an outpost about 6,000 metres east of New Dat. Men of 4 RAR have got a hot job here. They're putting up barbed wire. This young man is Doug Williams, Private Doug Williams from Watsonia. Uh, g'day there Mum, Dad. How are you all? Uh, doing a bit of a job here today quite warm. Uh, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year and to all the folks back home. Hi all to you and uh, I'll see you in the New Year sometime. Uh, my mate over here is Joel Acosta. Thanks Doug. Uh, hello Mum, Dad, Mick, Cedric, Brian, Russell. Uh, it's great having this opportunity to speak to you all now. Anyway I'll keep it short. Hope you're all uh, well uh, despite our lousy weather back home. Over here it's great, as you can see I'm about three shades darker. I've got a terrific name here but I won't mention it. <laughs> anyway, uh, young Russell, thanks for the uh, beer. Don't forget to send the courage over, I'm looking forward to that. I uh, wish you all the best for uh, Christmas and the New Year and I'll be home with you soon. The defences out here on the horseshoe are rather reminiscent of World War One. Occupying this one is uh, Private John Biles of Carambaro. Uh, how do everybody at home? Uh, I'd like to say Merry Christmas to Mum and all the kids and uh, Shantae Gwen and Mr and Mrs Smith. 
and uh, everybody else around who uh, knows me. And uh, I'd like to hand over to uh, Roy Jones of Cobram, Victoria. Uh, he's Roy. Uh, hello, Mum and Dad, Shirley. Uh, I'd like to wish you uh, all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, it won't be too long before I'm home. So uh, I'll see you then. The commanding officer of the 4th Battalion, Royal Australian Regiment, is Lieutenant Colonel Lee Grovel. His family, his wife and four children are waiting for him in Hamilton, Brisbane. I wish to extend Christmas greeting to all those families of the officers and men of my battalion on behalf of us here in Vietnam. I speak for those husbands, sweethearts and fathers who may not get this wonderful opportunity to send their personal messages. We would all love to be with you over this festive period. We will be thinking of you and we all hope you have a wonderful Christmas. So my Christmas message to you is this. Your men are in good health, are wonderfully fit, and I'm very proud of them. Be of good spirit. Keep your letters and messages in a vein which reflect that spirit. And you'll be making a very worthwhile contribution to their welfare, their effectiveness, and their safety. A happy Christmas to you all. To my wife Peggy, my children Richard, Virginia, Andrew and Jamie, I send my love and wish that you have a wonderfully enjoyable holiday at the beach and that Christmas is an exciting and happy time for you all. Fire support base Lion is typical of the position set up to provide quick and accurate support for the infantry soldiers on operation. And digging in on fire support base Lion are men of Charlie Company, 1 Royal Australian Regiment. This is Grants Corporal Brian White from Preston. Mum and Dad, bet you never thought you'd see me working. Just uh, say a few words for you on this uh, this um, program. Merry Christmas to you and Sandra. Should all be watching me. Um, I haven't got much to say anyway. Hard at work in the weapon pit next door was Private Rod McNabb. He comes from Frankston. Hi Mum and Dad, all the folks at home. Bit of a surprise seeing me here I suppose, doing a bit of work for a change. I uh, hope you're having a Merry Christmas there. Not too bad over here, we'll survive it out alright. Only about another ten months to go. So uh, keep your chin up and we'll be home soon. Corporal Richard Maciejewski comes from Pasco Vale. Hello Mum and Dad. Uh, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and uh, thank you for the parcels you sent me during the year. And the man busy with the shovel is Private Bob Rose of Glen Iris. How are you, Mum and Dad? J John, Gaz, Pete. Hope you're all fit and well. I'm pretty fit. Must be the B2, B2 units there fit. Feed me, I think. I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. It's great to be able to talk to you here now. So, till I get home in February, all the best. At Operational Fire Support Base Flinders, the 105mm howitzers of the 1st Field Regiment, supplied by American Chinook transport helicopters, are on call to back infantry troops in action. Next to their rifles, the field guns are the foot soldiers' best friend, and one of the main reasons for the defection of the, of the Viet Cong. The building of sandbagged emplacements to protect the guns is backbreaking work here in uh, Vietnam. In charge of this party is Bombardier Frank Flegg of Jacana. Uh, hi family, uh, Dad, Stein, Unc, former relations, neighbours, I'd like to take this chance uh, to wish us all a very Merry Christmas and prosperous New Year. Uh, Gunner Wayne Gillies comes from Footscray. Uh, hi Dad, Mum, Honey Maud, uh, Ian and Carol, all my mates back home. Uh, I'd like to tell you I'm doing okay over here and uh, I'd like to wish you all a uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and a special one for my fiancé, Colin. Gunner Philip Johnson is from Doncaster. Hi everyone, I'd like to look, wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Mum and Dad and uh, friends and family uh, will be home shortly. Can't be with you in uh, body, be with you in spirit. The fourth member of this party is Gunner Paul Infolata. I'm sorry, Infolata from North Coburg. Hello Mum and Dad, Brother Mario, friends, uh, I'm doing okay here, could be better, I hope to be home before this film is home, I uh, all wish all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, 
all my friends in there, especially Peter, Sam, Chris, all the best. In villages such as Long Tuan, another war, a war against poverty and disease is being fought. Every day in the Phuc Thuy province, Australian medical teams from the Civic Action Unit are treating villages. This one at the village of Long Tuan is headed up by Major Ray Atkinson of Parramatta. Hello darling, hello boys, uh, all the best for Christmas. This compound is a veritable fort. It is manned predominantly by Montagnard troops who are advised by an Australian mobile advisory team. Its task is to provide the security for the new settlement village of Apsuine in the distance. It's playtime here at Apsuine State School. The state school, the school itself, the school building and the play equipment were provided by the Civil Affairs Unit of the Australian Task Force. Schoolhouses are not much good without books and pencils, crayons and this sort of thing, so the members of the Civic Action Team from Nuidat distribute these things from time to time. Lance Corporal Ray Smith comes from Seymour. Uh, I'd like to send my wife, Beverly, uh, and my son, Shane, a uh, Christmas greeting. Wish them all the best. And knowing that uh, I'll be home with them soon, soon after. Thank you very much. Sergeant Dong is a, uh, an interpreter, Vietnamese interpreter, working with the Civic Affairs Unit. Uh, I myself and uh, to the teachers uh, here, the representatives uh, for the children here, uh, thank you very much for your thing. With a view to teaching the Vietnamese modern agricultural methods, the Australian Civic Action Team have set up an experimental garden here at Apsui Nui. One of the men engaged in this task is Private Lee Povey of Horsham, Victoria. My wife Marilyn back in Horsham. Merry Christmas, darling. It won't be long now till we're home. All the best. Something new is appearing on the scene in Vietnam. They're good old Australian windmills and they're being put up by members of the First Australian Civic Action Unit. This is Lance Corporal Alan Hanks of Cheltenham. Uh, hello, Mum. Hello, Dad. Uh, hope you're enjoying Christmas Day. I uh, wish I was there with you. Uh, also, I don't know the bridge and sand with the, and the kiddies are there with you. But I hope they're uh, enjoying Christmas too. Uh, hope Dad don't seem too much there. <laughs> and, uh, well, I'll be home with you shortly in about January sometime. I'm not too sure, but I'll be home pretty soon. So, uh, have a good Christmas. And, uh, Keep good help. Private John Archer is from Oakley, Victoria. Hello, Mum, Dad, boys. Uh, Ross, Stoney, I hope you're all there at home. Uh, I hope you do drink a lot of beer, have a real good time. Uh, I wish I was there with you, and uh, I'd like to also say hello to Lynn. I suppose she's there too. And uh, won't be long, I'll be home in May. We'll be together again. Good. It's relaxing time under the rubber trees at Nui Dat. This is Lieutenant Bob Sutton. He comes from Sandringham. Uh, hi, Duff, baby. Uh, happy Christmas to you, honey, and all the rest of the 53 steed. Uh, also, happy Christmas to Mum, Dad, Harry, Marg, uh, Marg and Brian, and all the kids, and also uh, to the folks and uh, all the rest of the relations. Private Bob Coven's wife, Rosalie, is waiting for him at Ballarat. Hello, Rosalie. Hello, Rachel. Uh, I wish you a happy Christmas and also seeing as close to your 21st birthday, I wish you a happy birthday as well. I uh, hope you're all well and hello Mum if you're there watching. At Vung Tau on the South China Sea, the Australian Logistics Support Group is located. The control office of the 2nd Advanced Ordnance Depot at Vung Tau controls the issue and receipt of stores in Vietnam. This is Warrant Officer Jerry McCocky from Jakarta. Hello, Sherry, Robert, Gloria and Janet. How are you? I hope you're having a very pleasant Christmas and a happy, also that you have a very happy New Year. I should be able to see you in approximately one month early in February. Corporal Alex Yacubian's wife, Nola, lives at Wodonga. Hello, hello, Nora. Hello, Patty. Uh, I hope you're having a merry, merry Christmas and a happy New Year. I wish, I wish to see you sometime in January. I'll be coming home about the 17th or the 18th. 
like to send a uh, Christmas greeting to Mum and Dad and uh, all my brothers and sisters, uh, my girlfriend Stephanie, um, all my mates. Hope they have a really good Christmas. Um, thanks very much. Robert Darrell Day's wife, Julie, is living at Brunswick. Uh, I'd just like to say hello to everybody and give me love to everybody at home and uh, hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. In the account section of the Second Advanced Ordnance Depot in Vung Tower, the information recorded on these machines will be processed on computers back in Canberra. In charge of the sections, Warrant Officer 2, Terry Dunnett from Broadmeadows. Hello there, Elaine. Anthony. Graham, Jeffrey, and also to you too, little Catherine. Best of Merry Christmas and the best for the season. Everything's going fine up here. I'm getting your mail within about four days. Also to you too, Mum, John, Valerie, and all my friends and relations down there in Melbourne. Private Brian G comes from Wodonga. Uh, I'd like to send a Merry Christmas and all my love to Benetta Warhurst and all my relations in Melbourne and Wodonga uh, and wish them a Happy New Year. Operating at turret lathe is craftsman Theo Rickon. His wife Carolyn is living at Blackburn. Hello, Carol. This is Tony. Um, hello. Merry Christmas, Mum and Dad, Henny, Butch, Vicky and Peter and Debbie and Lynn and Mr and Mrs Brading and Helen. Uh, thanks for R&R. &R. It was terrific. Um, be home shortly. How do you like me moustache? I told you I'd grow one. Um, it's all right up here, but shortly I'll be home for keeps. See you then. The task of the Royal Australian Electrical and Mechanical Engineers is to keep the uh, vehicles of war rolling. Working on this heavy forklift truck is Sergeant Bruce Robertson from Geelong. Uh, I'd like to send a Christmas greeting to my wife, Lynn, and two kids, Darren and Dean, also mum and dad, Lynn's mum, uh, my brother and sister, and Lynn's uh, sister and her boys and her husband. And everyone else down Geelong and down at Shepparton and uh, Dalry Dale next year, she'll be all right. His offside is craftsman Jeff Brick from Churchill. Like uh, Merry Christmas, Mum and Dad and Pat, and uh, hope you're well. All the kids, David, Peter and Colin. And, uh, hope I'm home with you again soon. The provisioning of our troops in the field here in Vietnam is the responsibility of five company, Royal Australian Army Service Corps. This is Private Bill Hoffert from Richmond, Victoria. Hey, how are Mum and Dad? Still here? Uh, haven't had a bad sort of a time here. Uh, I'll be going on R&R on uh, the 5th this month. So I'll uh, sit and get all of a few goodies for you. Uh, give the regards to all the folks there. And uh, I'll see you when I get home. Private John Matthews is from Carnegie. Hello, Kay and Sharon. How are you going? Hello, Mum and Dad and everyone. So have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Only about another hundred days to go now, Kay, and I'll, I'll be home then. We'll see you soon, Tordy. And Private Tony Duffy comes from Nidri. Hi, Mum and Dad and kids. Hope you're having a, a good Christmas. I hope to be home with you in the new year, about February. And uh, we're having a good time over here. It's not as bad as, as you think it is. Private Paul Thomas is a medical assistant with the First Australian Field Hospital at Vung Tower. He comes from South Yarra. I would like to say uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all my friends down in Melbourne, to my girlfriend Margareta, Bruce, Alan, Michael, just going in the Army, and uh, hoping to see them on my R&R &R in a couple of months' time, and uh, sh should be home after that a couple of months later. Private Bob Randall is one of the medical assistants at the First Australian Field Hospital at Vung Tower. He comes from Camperdown. Hi, Mum and Dad. John Pete, I'd just like to wish you all a Merry Happy Christmas. All the folks at Camperdown, I'd like you to enjoy yourself. And drink plenty of beer. Thank you. Here at the Peter Badco Club at Vung Tower, the war seems a long way away. <laughs> Named after Major Peter Badco, VC, the club, and in particular the swimming pool, provides a welcome break for servicemen on a two-day pass from operations further up country in Phuc Thuy. The Sergeant Herbie Ross is a physical training instructor here at the pool. Part of his job is to help uh, injured soldiers back on the road to recovery. He comes from Annandale. Hi, honey. How are you? Long time no see. However, I'll be with you shortly. Hello to David, Leanne, uh, and Mum, Dad, everyone down there at home. Just how are you going? This is a big shock to me. I didn't really think that I'd be able to do this, but here I am. 
I hope everything's okay at home, and please look after yourself. I'd like to say hello to all the fellas that helped come through the pool on physiotherapy. Hope you're getting on all right now, chaps, and no troubles. If, uh, if I ever get to your place, I hope I'll see you real soon. Merry Christmas, honey. Thank you very much. Apart from recreation, the pool provides therapeutic treatment for injured soldiers. This is Lance Corporal Brian Kelly from St. Arnold. Oh, hi, Mum. Uh, I hope to be home soon. If I'm not, I wish you a Merry Christmas and all the best. I'd like to thank the staff of the hospital for looking after me so good. That's all I've got to say. Merry Christmas. Most of the troops serving in Vietnam get the opportunity for a few days' relaxation on the beach at Bung Tau. It may not be Bondi, but it provides a well-earned break. The amenities of the beachside resort have been largely provided by donations from the people of Australia. Now just about everybody's interested in boats. Corporal Terry Bowman is down on two days R and C from up country. He comes from Yarram. Uh, hi, Mum. Uh, I'm glad to take this opportunity to hope you're all well at home. I'm pre feeling pretty fit myself, and uh, just coming out of the surf. We're having a few days down here, and uh, you know, just having a bit of a surf. You know, I like it. Uh, I hope you all have a merry Christmas. I'm sure that uh, they'll let us have a bit of a break over here. And I hope to see you early in the new year, round about February the 12th. Uh, thanks very much. 